Hey, as a lot of you know, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan and have been for a long, long time. It's hard to remember just exactly how and when it all started to develop. I was probably I don't know, 10, 11 years old when I first started to take an interest in it. My, my first favorite Packer is still my favorite Packer, Bart Starr. He was the quarterback. He retired in 71. And through those years since then, uh, there, there's been some good years, and there were a lot, a lot of really bad years in between the good years, too. But you stick with them. But sometimes when we talk about fans, that's not what they're like. Um, you got people a lot of times who will root for the Packers when they're winning. And then when they, when they slack off, they'll, they'll jump to the Patriots, or to the Colts, or to the Steelers. You know, whoever's winning at the time, whoever has the MVP, that's the team they follow. And as long as things are going, going well, they're big fans. And when things don't go well, then they, you know, gripe to their friends around the water cooler or their lockers, or they call into the radio talk shows or whatever and complain, and eventually switch to the next bandwagon of whatever team's hot. Sometimes people do that with Jesus, too. The idea of, you know, what's in it for me? What have you done for me lately? And as long as he was meeting their expectations, meeting their needs that they thought they had, hey, it was great. But when he didn't, then they changed. As we come to John chapter 6, Jesus is beginning to enter probably his third year of ministry. And we're moving fastly, time, uh, fast time-wise because uh, last week we were John chapter 5. That was the beginning of the second year. Now we're beginning the third year in John chapter 6. And Jesus is at the very peak of his popularity. The crowds are huge. Um, he has performed all kinds of, of miracles. He fed the 5,000. He's, he's healed many people. He's been preaching, teaching. Uh, the disciples have gone out on a preaching tour on their own with fantastic results. Passover is just right around the corner and and everybody's kind of at a fever pitch. You know, all this stuff going on, the crowds are huge, Passover's coming. They want to take Jesus and force him to be king. And at this pinnacle of his popularity and all the excitement, Jesus preaches a sermon in John chapter 6 that makes the people leave. Many of them, most of them, leave. I mean, it's the strangest thing. You wouldn't think that's what somebody would want. But that's what happens. And his popularity would begin a downward trend from this point to the cross. His opposition would be on an upward trend from this point to the cross. So let's read through uh, John chapter 6. And if you would, read the last part. Begin with verse 60. Chapter 6, verse 60. Read to the end of the chapter. Then go back and start with verse 1. Because you see where he's headed. See what the response of people uh, was to what he said. And then go back to the top and read. Now, we can't cover everything in John chapter 6 next Sunday. There's just too much to cover in 30 minutes. But we're going to talk about, I think especially this, I think Jesus was saying, I don't need fans. I need followers. And he calls us to a level of commitment that is very challenging, uh, to a life of assimilating him in every part of who we are. So you read that. You'd be praying about that. And we'll get into John 6 then on Sunday. See you then.